Salut à tous et bienvenue à ma chaîne. This is Dolce K and today we're going to be talking about black Facebook acting up as usual. If you use Facebook, you know that black Facebook is always acting up, acting in full, but this just really took me by surprise um, because now they're dragging NBA players, fully black NBA players and not for the reasons that you may think. So recently, Kendall Weaver uh, has been trending on a black Facebook, not for the fact that he is a D1 college basketball player um, who is very well accomplished. And, um, you know, he's from Mansfield, Texas. He played for uh, UT Arlington. The, um, the past uh, state states championship game uh, he is very well accomplished and he is going to be um, possibly on the draft the NBA draft as well as his sister Kennedy Carter who um, you know is a former Texas A&M all-american and she was also a pick in the 2020 WNBA draft she's currently with Los Angeles Sparks okay so very well accomplished player very well accomplished family um, however he's not trending for those accomplishments on Facebook instead black people are dragging him actually everyone but black people mostly are dragging him because he has light skin and 4C hair. And it's really crazy because, you know, we fight so hard for, um, you know, protection against colorism. We fight so hard and we have fought so hard for um, anti-discrimination laws as it pertains to natural hair, such as the Crown Act, which unfortunately has been revoked in some states after being extended to those states it was you know unfortunately it was revoked and i feel like this is part of why and this is also part of why you know things like affirmative action and dei are being removed as well because how do we expect another group of people or outside society to respect us when we don't even respect ourselves? But I want you to go ahead and take a look at the comments um, under this post. Uh, this post is basically saying that, oh, these NBA players have breeded so much with Caucasian women and now we're stuck with these N-words very harsh words you'll see in the comments um it's very uh clownish you have people defending uh caucasian women you have people basically talking about mixed identity saying oh i love to be mixed you also have um people saying oh this is just a joke and then you have people saying this is racist not necessarily towards the player, even though it is and it's racist to basically everyone and fall, black people, white people. Um, but they're saying specifically that this is racist because, you know, love who you love. If you want to uh, procreate with someone outside of your race, that's your choice. And while that's true, I think it really ignores the elephant in the room, which is that Kendall Weaver is a light-skinned black man with 4C hair. He has two black parents, um, but we'll go ahead and talk about that later. Go ahead and watch the rest of the video, uh, look at the comments, and let me know what you think. Um, after the comments, we'll come back for some further commentary.
This comment in particular takes the cake for biggest clown. In case you can't see the screen for whatever reason, I'm going to go ahead and read this comment out loud. Brace yourself, okay? This lady says, I'm going to hell with gasoline thongs on. Black people roast each other all day, every day, and non-blacks are upset about this. We can tell who didn't get cracked on coming up. Light-skinned men make jokes about themselves all the time. This isn't racist because he's not being stopped from doing what he loves because of his skin tone or race. Some of you are so eager to say something is racist without knowing the definition of racist. Hmm, okay, well thank you for enlightening us that black people cannot be racist against black people and that when black people make fun of each other for certain features like 4C hair or light skin or dark skin or anything, it's just you cracking, it's just them cracking on each other. It's not actual racism. So I guess the whole idea of um, colorism doesn't exist because um, black people make jokes about each other all the time and racism doesn't exist within the black community because black people mistreat each other on the basis of being black all the time. I guess issues like black femicide are not racist issues because one it's too intersectional and it's black men who are doing it to black women so that automatic automatically makes it not racist none of this makes sense but in case you're still confused or doubting why something like this would be racist in the first place let's go ahead and review the definition of racist and tie it back to the original post okay so to be racist means that you are characterized by or you are showing prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism against a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group, typically one that is a minority or marginalized. Okay, so mixed people are a minority. Black people are also a minority. They both are marginalized in different ways okay in this context white people would not be labeled a minority so if you recall the beginning of this video the original post uh, the one who posted it was complaining about having to be stuck with these n words like Kendall Weaver because the NBA players have breeded with so many Caucasian women so notice how he's referring to Caucasian women just as Caucasian women, but referring to, you know, mixed or people who look mixed uh, that he thinks are mixed as, um, you know, in words. And you can't tell me that that's not motivated by the fact that Kendall Weaver has 4C hair and light skin. Okay, so... This is definitely racism. He's showing prejudice against people who are mixed or look mixed and have 4C hair. Um, he thinks that they are ugly. He thinks that they are um, something that mm, somehow we are stuck with in the NBA. Uh, so usually when you say you're stuck with something, that means that it's a negative situation. It's a negative predicament, unfortunate, and you would have preferred something else in this case, I guess he's preferring that it would have been a dark-skinned black man with 4C hair. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, let's move on to the definition of racism, which is prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism by an individual community or institution against a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group, typically one that is a minority or marginalized. Okay, so when she says that, you know, he's not being stopped from doing what he's doing, his light skin isn't stopping him from doing what he's doing and being successful in the NBA, being a successful, uh, you know, college basketball player. Well, no, honey, it doesn't have to be from an institution. Individuals can execute racism. Communities can be racist. So. 
anyone can experience racism outside of an institution. You don't have to experience racism within an institution. You can experience it within a community. And in this case, well, he's being subjected to a form of racism within the black community and within just the online social media rhetoric um, in the uh, NBA basketball space because there are all kinds of people, white people and black people specifically, I don't really see mixed people saying anything negative about this man, but white people and black people specifically making fun of this man for the way that he looks, which if you think the man is ugly, that's fine. Or if you don't like his haircut, then that's fine. I don't have a problem with people saying that. But when you start making comments saying that, oh, he should have, he looks like he should have wavy hair, or he's a white man with a black man's face, stuff like that is extremely racist. It's, it's featureist. And I don't understand why people want to act as if, you know, racism is just something that is put on a pedestal that is only reserved for black people to experience at the hands of white people. Like, no, it's a prejudice, just like colorism, just like featureism, and neither of them are better than the other, less traumatic than the other. They're all, like, this is not oppression Olympics. Stop trying to be, you know, this special victim under these special circumstances. No, you have to subject this man to racism and featureism and colorism because basically you're treating his skin tone as inferior in the context of what an NBA player should look like to you. Okay, but let's go ahead and delve into this even a little bit further because I really think it's interesting how she says that, um, you know, we can tell who didn't get cracked on light skinned men make jokes about themselves all the time. So it's basically giving, you know, as long as I'm black and you're black, I can treat you any way I want to. And your black life doesn't matter unless it's being threatened or you're being harassed by a, a non-black person. That's the only time that your black life matters. I can call you the N-word. I can call you blacky. I can call you cracker or high yellow because I think that you have, you know, Eurocentric features or you have your skin is too light. I can do whatever I want to you. Or let's say in Africa, in some places in Africa, if a baby is born and that African baby has white skin and white hair, meaning they're albino, sometimes they'll leave that baby out in the wilderness to get trampled by animals. Yeah, that's an actual thing. It's horrific. But apparently those types of things are okay or unacknowledged at the very least. They go unacknowledged or swept under the rug. You wonder why, you know, there are so many white people or non-black people online, specifically on this platform on Facebook, that um, get so angry at black people. And it's because of things like this, because black people do act as if, you know, we can't be racist to anyone because we are a minority. Um, nowhere in this definition of racism does it talk about uh, oppression or oppressive systems. It just simply talks about prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism. So if you want to find another word to describe the oppression hierarchy that does exist in America, um, you know, find that other word because racism isn't it. So you're not going to sit up here and say that you can't be racist because looking at the dictionary of Oxford languages, you can definitely be racist as a, as a black person living in a country that is founded upon uh, slavery. You can, you can. In 2024, a black person can be racist. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you, you can and you probably have been, you know? So whether or not that's something that's important to you, whether or not you care, that's up to you. That's, that's your business. That's your business. At least own up to it. At least own up to your own prejudice and your discrimination against individuals with light skin and 4C hair. At least own up to it and just be honest that you don't like that. You don't like people who have light skin and 4C hair. You think they look ugly. Okay? So why is it so hard to just be honest about that? Yeah, that's right. Because no one in America wants to be called racist. White people don't want to be called racist and black people don't want to be called racist. Yeah. So that's what they're trying to avoid. But 
I'm going to go ahead and label you for what you are. You are a racist. Okay. And then the fact that the poster saw Kendall Weaver's light skin and then assumed he was mixed, even though every feature on his face is extremely African, and then basically treated mixed identity or light skin as, as inferior when he begins to lament about being stuck with these N-words. And there was an interesting comment, and kudos to the person who left this comment, um, you know, in the midst of all of the foolery. Um, there were some people, some men, who claimed that they grew up around him and that, you know, he has, he has two black parents. Let me see if I can find this comment. The comment. So it appears that this man in the photo is a, is a black man, possibly an un, unambiguous uh, black man. I can't really tell, but he says, interesting and very telling on you, how you show ethnic respect towards whites by using the correct term Caucasian, but total disrespect by calling blacks or black adjacent people or mixed people or whatever he thinks Kendall Weaver is in words extremely ignorant and show self-hate of yourself and an entire ethnic group. You should think about that. Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm talking about. You wanna give respect to white people by, you know, and I'm not saying that you should disrespect them, I'm just pointing it out and he's just pointing it out that you have a, um, a, a self-hatred issue. You have an issue with seeing the blackness in other people if it doesn't look like what you think blackness should look like and if it isn't white enough you would also attack it as well so basically if someone's uh, hair is 4c but their skin is very light and bright you are going to attack it because one you think that their light skin means that um, you know they should have other features in order to be deemed as beautiful or for their image to be seen as at least average or whatever. Um, but then you see the 4C hair on the light skin and I think that, that makes you feel some type of way as well. Maybe it makes you feel as if, you know, your identity is being stolen when nothing is really being stolen. This is a black person. And for those of you who are new to the channel, um, black people, black Americans are not fully black. Um, very far few and few in between of us are actually fully black. The ones, the ones who have, um, you know, well over 75% of African DNA, most of us are located in the South. But as you move forth, further up North, those percentages go down dramatically. And the average on, um, the average nationally is 73% African DNA for the majority of black Americans and, um, you know, in, in America. So I, I don't really want to hear about, oh, well, you know, he's light skinned. So he has to be mixed because that's not true because, you know, there are light skinned people such as myself who have well over 73% African DNA and have light skin. And then there are also people who have well over 73% African DNA, but also have dark skin so the admixtures you know you can't really say that oh well their admixture wasn't powerful enough or your their admixture doesn't count as much no their admixture a dark skin person's admixture counts just as much as my admixture so let's level the playing field there so if you want to label someone who has 73 percent or more African DNA as mixed, then go right ahead. But that means that all black Americans pretty much, or the average black American uh, in America is going to be labeled mixed right along with them, right? So if you wanna say that I'm mixed, then be ready to label pretty much all black Americans in America as mixed because the average DNA percentage is 73%. And that's another video that we will go into um, that I will make so we can really look at the research and how the data was gathered to see where that even comes from. I also have uh, some other content I'm working on talking about light skin in black people and where it actually comes from because somehow, you know, they also don't think that we can tan or they think that when we do tan that it's not supposed to get lighter in the winter. 
Um, but yeah, that's a whole other can of worms, right? But I think that that's very triggering for some people, especially black people and even white people as well. Like people who identify monoracially, I think that that's an issue for them when they see um, people who appear to be mixed or have a different phenotype that is um, that they don't see as typical. But yeah, I think this is very interesting. Stay tuned because I have a treat for you at the end of this video um, coming up next. Uh, and we're going to see what Kendall Weaver actually looks like. Yeah. And let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. And if you have ever experienced this, if you think that Kendall Weaver is MGM, black, or mixed, let me know down in the comments. You know, he also has a sister and um, a sister who looks like a light-skinned black woman. And uh, he has two parents that also look like light-skinned black people or ambiguous black people. Uh, we don't know what their mixtures are. Until they take a DNA test, we're never going to know. But keep everything respectful in the comments and let me know what you think. And let me know what you think about these comments uh, that you saw in the video. All right. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.